Hi, everybody. It is uh, Friday, September 16th. Um, I apologize. Uh, yesterday, I, I was so busy yesterday, there was not one second to uh, put together a video, and a few people contacted me to say, are you okay? If I'm not up one day on a video, don't worry about me. I'm every, you'll hear if something catastrophic happened. But my uh, my schedule has just gotten so insane between the new record, the documentary film, some set, some session work I have to have coming up, and a whole bunch of stuff. It's just uh, I kind of thought I could come off the road and relax a bit, and it's just haven't had a second yet. And uh, but everything everything's fine. It's all good. Um, tomorrow is my one-on-one -on -one day. My FaceTimes and Skype with the uh, the Peak Club members who have signed up for that, and I'm really. Um, Looking forward to that. We haven't done that now in quite a while, and it's going to be really nice to catch up with all of the uh, the gang and see what's see what's going what's going on in their lives. Um, still, it's a little muggy up, but it's still it's uh, cooled off enough here where I'm not dealing with you know hundred some degrees every day out here. So I'm digging that, and then I thought about some music and got into this. Um, discussion with somebody about Jesse Ed Davis, the great Jesse Ed Davis, who played the guitar solo on Dr. My Eyes. He played with Taj Mahal and all kinds of people. Um, sadly, he's no longer with us, but Jesse Ed is, uh, it was an amazing guy. And so all, all of a sudden I went back and I remembered having worked with him on Gene Clark's No Other album, which is one of the great cult albums of all time. I never got the attention that any of us thought it deserved. Gene was the original singer uh, in The Birds, and then he was in Dillard and Clark, and uh, he he was a, a remarkable, remarkable, wonderful artist. Um, but for some reason, um, things just didn't work out for him. But this album was a really unique experience. We cut it in 1974 at Village Recorders. I've got two previous videos uh, where I featured the, the the title track, No Other, on it, uh, because I've got about six basses on it. They uh, they said, go for it. And I ended up recording um, over Lang, fuzz bass, octave bass, I mean, piccolo, volume pedal, all kinds of stuff. I kind of, they let me orchestrate it pretty much myself. Um, and then there was, a, I did one other video, and I think I talked about two songs on it, but I think it's such a good album. I wanted to go back and visit a couple more songs from that album. Uh, it was produced by Thomas Jefferson K. Uh, we got it down here. We did it at Village Recorders, mixed it at Wally Hyder Studios, which was crazy when I was at Diane Warren's the other day. It's almost across the street from where the old Wally Hyder Studios used to be, and I used to work at Hyder's all the time. Um, and uh, it, this album was engineered by Tony Real. And so I'm going to just go ahead and play a few songs here because really, this was really a, a beautiful project and great musicians on this one. Uh, this first track I'm going to play is called True One. And it's myself on bass, Butch Trucks, who's no longer with us on drums, uh, Gene and Jerry McGee, uh, uh, Gene Clark and Jerry McGee on uh, guitars on this. And both of them are gone now. Um, Mike Utley on keyboards and Joe Lala on percussion, who's no longer with us. Joe played with Manassas. He, he used to come and play with us with the section. Joe was a fabulous, fabulous person. Made the best red sauce of anybody you ever met. Um, I love Joey. Miss him. He used to always have a, he had a big, like, macaw or something, a big, huge parrot on his shoulder all the time when he walked around. And I'm, at the end of the day, the back, his back looked like a glacier and the amount of poop that went down his back. We could tell when Joe got there, you go, oh, pff, Joe's here. <laughs> it's just that, that parrot was never off his shoulder. It was crazy. So um, here's True One. This is Gene Clark from his No Other album. <laughs> Hold on, that is not coming out of the right speaker. Let me get this thing plugged into to the Bose.
called out the credits on this uh, when I first looked it up. He, he wasn't listed on this, but as soon as I heard the steel, uh, it was Ben Keith on steel on this. Um, I'm trying to remember if that would have been my peace love base. That was about the time that we were building Frankenstein. So that may have been the peace love base on that. Um, here's a track called Life's Greatest Fool, and it's and it's myself and Russ Kunkel on drums. Uh, who do we got here? Mike Otley again on keyboards, Joe Lala on percussion. Uh, it's Gene Clark, Jerry McGee, Jesse Ed Davis um, on, let's see, Jesse Ed Davis and Steve Bruton on um, guitar. I mean, Jesse Ed's no longer with us. Steve Bruton's no longer with us. Jerry and Gene are gone. Um, the uh, background singers on this are, are Carlina Williams, Cindy Bullens, uh, Claudia Lanier, um, Clyde King and Vanetta Fields, uh, Ron Baron, and um, Shirley, um, uh, Shirley Matthews. 
on this. And this one's called Life's Greatest Fool. So let me listen to a little bit more. I just really enjoyed this project. It was a hard project to do. There was a lot of teeth pulling on it because we were experimenting with things all the time. And some of the stuff was almost being written as we were recording. So uh, it was a challenge. But it was the, at the end of the project, we sat back and listened and went, cool, this is great. So here we go, Life's Greatest Fool. <laughs>
really kind of a total trip to uh, be listening to that and thinking about back in the days of sitting there and looking next to me and there was Russ Kunkel playing drums and then I just got off of a Zoom with Russ. <laughs> and uh, that was, we cut that almost 50 years ago. And uh, here we are sitting and talking about the movie, about us and, and the upcoming gigs and the album and stuff. I mean, our history is like, it's just been a continuum for decades. It's, it's a remarkable thing. It's a pretty rare thing in this, in this business. Um, here's a song uh, called Silver Raven. And this is myself and Russ again, but on this one we also have Cooch playing guitar and Jerry McGee and Jesse Ed Davis. Mike Utley's playing keyboards and Cindy Bullen's Tim, Timothy Schmidt from the Eagles. Um, Ron Barone and Claudia Lanier are singing background on there. Go, here's Silver Raven. <laughs> Much like the other, they really gave me some freedom on this. She has wings and she can fly far above the dark and waters, far above the troubled sky. I may have featured this one earlier. I'll let it go, but I think I did this on a previous. Now they Turn to die, but they turn to hide upon. 
love Michael Utley would always create just these beautiful pads. Mike played keyboards in all the old Christofferson and Rita Coolidge records and stuff and he's been Jimmy Buffett's musical director for years. Um, and he's just wonderful. He's just a great guy to work with. Um, here I think this is the last one I'm going to do from this project. This is called Some Misunderstanding and it's myself and Russ Kunkel and Buzzy Featon, Gene Clark, Jerry McGee on guitars, Mike Utley on keyboards, Bill Cuomo on B3, um, Steve Bruton also on guitar. I love working with Steve and he's no longer with us too. It's been fun watching Bill Cuomo. He's down in Nashville and he's building a log cabin and on Facebook he's posting the progress of the log cabin or building which is bitchin'. And Richard Green on violin on this with Carlina Williams, Cindy Bullens, uh, Claudia Lanier, Clyde King, Ronnie Barone, and Shirley Matthews and Vanetta Fields on background vocals on this. So here we go. This is Some Misunderstanding. <laughs>
just seeing all those names of guys that are gone. The other day when I was talking about 9-11 and being in the studio, 
doing Jeff Pryor's album. Steve Bruton was also on that session. He was such a beautiful guitarist. And uh, when he was got sick and passed, it was just broke my heart. There's just so many. So many are gone now. It's unbelievable. I mean, I, the more credits I read, the, the, the less the amount of, of those people are still with us. And, uh, I mean, they've left a remarkable legacy of, of music, but I'd sure love to be able to just have lunch with them. And, uh, but that's it for, for today. Um, world's still pretty crazy. I was, was totally heartbreaking seeing now that the uh, Ukrainians are pushing the, uh, the Russian troops back and they're, they're now finding all these mass graves that they're uncovering elderly and women and children and babies in them. These people went through and just slaughtered everything in sight. And if this isn't called crimes against humanity and war criminals, I, I don't think there is such a thing then, if not. But it's just just absolutely horrible seeing what's what, what took place over there. And it's still going on, but uh, they're getting handed their ass here. But you worry about as they start to really lose, what are they going to do? So... I don't know. I just just hate it. You know, it's, I've said it so many times before, and I'll keep saying it. Is our our time here is limited, and we at the end of the day, I sit there and I look in a mirror and I see an old man looking at me. But in my heart, I'm still. I can remember my first session with Brian Highland, doing I think Gypsy Woman, and uh, the idea of like this time went by so fast, and think some for so many people, time is just. It's just gone and watching. Uh, I'm, I, I've enjoyed the music. I'm going to let it go now. I'll, I'll talk later. Um, I'm just going to wish everybody a wonderful weekend. I'll try to get something posted tomorrow, but tomorrow is my, like I said, my FaceTime and Skype one-on-ones, and it can be a pretty full day trying to find a moment in there, but I'll, I'll see you do my best. Um, but if I'm not here one day, don't worry about it. Just know that I'm out somewhere losing my mind. So just let it go. Let it go. Um, but uh, I will talk to you later. And just all my best wishes to everybody. You know, I'm glad to, glad to be here every day that I can. So take good care. Bye-bye.